Hey everybody, it's your girl Star and today I'm coming to you with another video. I'm going to be doing an unboxing of some fragrances that I bought from uh, fragrancenet.com. Hashtag not sponsored, I wish. But I wanted to purchase a couple more perfumes just to add to my collection and they are all blind buys they are scents that i've never smelled before and i just wanted to just buy them because you know i was very curious some of these i've been curious for a very long time and i just wanted to kind of see what they smell like and as we all know we're a little bit more bored than usual so i figured why not so the first one i wanted to get started with is this one this one is Onika by Nicki Minaj. And so backstory on this one, I bought this specifically because it is a very pear heavy scent. I'm in love with pears. That's one of my favorite notes and fragrances. Um, as you all know, if you've seen any of my other videos, I love gourmand smell or scents. I love sweet scents. Um, so this one has a lot of pear in it, at least that's what the notes say, um, and reviews say as well. So I was just like, let me go ahead and try it out. I mean, I like Nicki Minaj just as much as the next person, um, but I didn't buy it when it came out in 2014. Um, but I, I purchased it and this is what the bottle looks like. She's... She's cute. I mean, you know, she's cute. But let's go ahead and smell her. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. So she's definitely very pear heavy. Oh, so to me, that's pear. It's like a bowl of pears with like a warm bowl of pears with melted butter and sh brown sugar, but it's still light, you know? Oh my gosh, that smells really good. So according to, according to the notes, um, it's mandarin, pear, and star fruit. Middle notes of water lily, osmanthus, and orchid, and base notes of sugar cane, cedar, and white musk. I mean, on the opening, the first thing that you get is that pear. And there's a little bit of a juiciness of the orange, but it's so nice. Oh, I love that. So like, to me, this fragrance is definitely a, to me, it's something that you would wear if you had a little crush or if you're married and you want to be sweet, but not overly sexy, you want to, have him like turn his head and be like oh you smell good but it's not like in your face like super like sex kit and sex bomb it's definitely a sweeter more innocent smell which is surprising because of the bottle i thought it was gonna be a little bit more sexy i think but it's still that's really beautiful i really like that oh man oh man oh man i think that's gonna be definitely a fave in my rotation yeah that's beautiful okay so the next one is going to be vera wang's uh princess so i've wanted this for a while just based off the bottle also based off of that has notes of dark chocolate um i've never actually smelled a perfume that i'm aware of that has like notes of dark chocolate so I just was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and see what it smells like. Um, especially since it's supposed to be a sweet and fruity um, perfume. I wanna see how they're gonna play with that, um, with the dark chocolate. This has been out for a long time. Like I think it's been out since like two, 2005, 2006, um, 2006. And the notes that this one has is apricot, water lily, apple, and mandarin. Oh, seeing a theme here. Middle notes of uh, tierra flower, dark chocolate, guava, and tuberose. And base notes of woodsy 
um, of wood, vanilla, and amber. So let's see what she smells like. So just based off of the bottle, and it's a beautiful bottle, and I just wanna say that I did get the big bottle, the 3.4 fluid ounces, um, and this is what she looks like. She, this is a beautiful bottle. I definitely would display this one. The Omika, maybe not so much, but I would display this. How cute is that? And it has like, you can take the little, oh, it's the little crown off. Oh, that's cute. And then it still has like this piece right here. But let's go ahead and get into the set. Oh, that's interesting. So I don't get, I don't get anything but like chocolate and a little bit of the apple. And it's, and it's like, okay. So this is like when you, if you were to melt vanilla and chocolate swirl ice cream and have a little bit of apples in it, like, like you, you smell that vanilla, you smell the chocolate, but then you smell hints of apple, which is actually really pleasant. Hmm. This is not what I thought it was going to be, but not in a bad way. Um, based off the bottle, I think I thought it was going to be a little bit more playful, a little bit more girly. To me, it's not necessarily a super girly, immature scent. It's actually, to me, like definitely a woman in her late 20s, um, early 30s, and even older. It definitely would be a, a appropriate scent. It's not super childish. I wouldn't say princess even. I would definitely say like this is definitely like queen status like this is it's it's sexy a little bit I, I like that i think honestly though i like the Nicki minaj a little bit more only because that's just right up my alley as far as notes and sweetness this one isn't overly sweet it does have a little bit of sweetness but it's like this chocolate vanilla hint of apple mix that i really actually like and there's like a lot of floral in there too but the first thing that you smell is like that dark cocoa and then it's like that vanilla swirl so i don't know she's cute i will definitely wear her again hmm so the next one is this one so this is a tester i bought this one um and as you can see, it says tester on here. Uh, Fragrance.com, uh, fragrance like you could buy actual testers from them and they're less expensive than, um, you know, if you were to buy like the actual bottle. This is a 3.3 ounce Sunset Fantasy um, by Britney Spears. Um, and I bought this for $22.67. I'm sorry, y'all, my hair is just all over the place today. Um, Ooh, and this is what it looks like. She's cute. She's a little gaudy, but she's cute. Um, hmm. So this one, um, it's a Britney Spears perfume, of course, Sunset Fantasy. And just to preface this, um, I did not like the original Fantasy. I know everybody's going to be like, oh my gosh, burn her at the stake. It is what it is. But... I just didn't like it because the one that I smell, and I've heard that it's been reformulated since like the beginning. So the one that I sampled was a little bit just too sharp and synthetic for me, but I do like the flankers and I do like Britney Spears um, perfumes. So I do personally have, or I had, I think I may have used all of it. Um, what is it? VIP private show or was it just private show? The one that smells like, like a, like a coffee latte, that one. Oh, it smells so good, I love that one. But this one is a floral fruity with an oriental woody dry down, and it has a uh, combination of citruses and apples, and the heart is peach and raspberries with additional orange blossoms, sandalwood, and warm sweet notes. So 
definitely fruity, peachy, and base notes of vanilla, whipped cream, van um, amber, and sandalwood. So let's see what she smells like. Ooh. Okay, so that's right up my alley as well. That's juicy. That's that's really juicy. So the first, you definitely get a lot of berries. You definitely get um, a little bit of the Christmas of the apple, but then it warms up a lot and then you get like peach because peach to me is like a warmer fruit. It's juicy, but you know, you typically eat it at you know, like just you pick it off the tree and it's just to me like warmer, like peach cobbler, peach pie. So it's just some, it, and to me, it, it emotes warm to me. Um, so it's, it starts off really citrus, which to me is very cool. Then it gets a little warmer with peach. And then you do have a hint of vanilla. And there is a little bit of a milky quality to it, which I guess is the whipped cream. Oh, but it's a little sexy. And I, I don't know if that's the amber, but there definitely is a little bit of a sexiness to it. Um, I would wear this with, oh, I would go like whenever I'm going out with my girlfriends, we're going to like a new club or a lounge. Not that I do any of those things, but I mean, after this quarantine, I might. <laughs> but definitely you're going out with your friends you want to have a good time you want to be sweet but you also want to be a little bit sexy that would definitely be this would be good for like a spring or summer night definitely see spring or summer night i i really like that and it's lingering too it's not it's a eau de toilette so it's not um for eau de toilette it just it like i keep smelling it so it's definitely something that's lasting um yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Ooh. All right. And the last one. I'm sorry. my The box I have is down here. <laughs> All right. So the last one is this one, which is Dolce um, Garden by Dolce & Gabbana. You see that right there? And this is also a tester. And I bought this one for... $44. Um, I think it typically at Sephora, it's like 60 bucks. So, well, actually for the 2.5, I think it's closer to like 80. So it saved a good bit of money there. Um, but yeah, so if you've watched my, my very first video, I did a review or a quick review on Dolce. Um, by Dolce & Gabbana, so not the guard, this one, which is Dolce & Gabbana Garden, but just Dolce, and I really like that. Um, it's definitely a lot heavy on the white flowers, um, very floral. The, to me, there wasn't any fruit, really. It's just, it was just floral. This one is supposed to be a, um, it's supposed to have white flowers, but also fresh and fruity notes like mandarin, magnolia, and neroli, um, the heart of um, coconut, yang, 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 I don't know how to say that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Lang Lang. <laughs> um, and it has the uh, dry down as vanilla, almond milk, and wood. So to me, what captivated uh, me about it was the coconut. I, that's not like coconut is another scent that like if it has it I'll probably try it pear and coconut are like neck and neck with me on um, you know the things that I really like like in a scent so let me go ahead and open this okay so this is it She's cute. She has this cute little stopper um, and has like the bow. But let's see what she smells like.
Ooh, okay. So you, right off the bat, there is that coconut and it is a little milky, which like coconut milk and a perfume, mm, love it. And then it is a little bit floral, but to me it it leans more gourmand, like, which is right up my alley. Like it's definitely, oh, it's sweet. It's coconutty. It's, it's like almost, it doesn't have almonds in it. So it's like almondy, nutty, a little bit of that wood and white flowers. I don't get too much fruit. No, I don't get too much fruit. It's definitely coconut. Coconut, vanilla, milk, or no, it's not heavy. So I wouldn't say cream. I would say milk, like a, a sweet, nutty almond milk. I like that a lot. Ooh. I think I bought four perfumes. I spent $103 before um, taxes and shipping. And I, I like all of them. I literally love all of them. That's like the first time I bought a set and I was like in love with all of them. But I will say though, I'm not gonna lie, this is my favorite. Another thing I was gonna like this one, but I did, and I'm probably gonna spray her on right now. I love this one, and then this one is a close second. But I love all of them. They're all different, but they're all like the type of fragrances that I like: sweets, gourmands, floral but fruity. Ugh, this was a really good haul. All right, well, thank you so much for watching that. If you have your favorite, um perfume put down in the um in the comment box below i would love to purchase this so i can smell it as well please check out my other video including um the celebrity fragrance i did not like because there's actually a giveaway going on in that one up to april 18th if you want to go ahead and enter check that video out um if you have any questions comments um, please go ahead and put that down there. Please like and subscribe and you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.